might be the most unpopular opinion on the block. But it's time to bring that good old frugality to your life. In 2023, you gotta make a minimalist lifestyle your only lifestyle. Quite literally. Perhaps this sounds way too extreme, right? So, can you really go out every week and pay the rent with that paycheck? I guess not. Don't worry though. We got you. Take note of our extremely unusual hot tips for a frugal life in 2023. And who knows? You might skip the ramen Wednesday for something fancier. Tip number one. Cash stuffing. All right, check your wallet real quick and see if you have enough cash to fill up your tank. Probably not. That doesn't mean that you're broke or you don't have any savings left. There's a huge possibility that you have decent money left in your bank account. Enough to survive through the month. It's simple. Thanks to credit cards, online shopping, and digital payments, we don't exactly keep cash around. Spare dollars can get you a soda here and there. But you end up buying the most unhinged stuff on the internet because making payments is easy. TikTok tells you something different. Believe it or not, cash stuffing is a TikTok trick. And it's out here saving lives. All you gotta do is draw your salary entirely. Get those crisp dollar bills and put them into separate envelopes for each of your expenses. This could be for groceries, utility bills, gas money, and whatnot. Then only touch those envelopes when there's a necessary expense to make. This might sound unnecessary. But hey, you buy yourself every Amazon deal because you're out of touch with your money. If there's no money left in the account, you can't exactly binge shop. So, even if the Amazon delivery guy shops up with your package, you know that you'll feel bad handing over the cash for something that you might even never use. Sounds like a great W to us. Tip number two. Make your own damn coffee. This tip might sound the most scandalous of all. And to be fair, it's something that a boomer will say on the internet because hey, how else could millennials buy a house? Okay, we aren't saying that if you ditched Starbucks for a year, you'd be able to buy a house. The housing sector is a mess, so let's not even get there. But hear us out. You have no idea how insane coffee expenditure is. If you're one of those who can only start their day with a kick of caffeine, you know buying coffee is second nature to you. What you don't know is that you spend more than $2,000 on caffeine per year. $2,000. Let that sink in for a second. Imagine the number of grocery runs that you can do with that money. Your fridge would have something healthier and you'd be able to treat yourself to something healthier. This isn't to say that we should stop consuming coffee altogether. Just rethink your options to go easy on your pocket. Plus, there's a solid alternative available. It's time to fire up your sad-looking, rarely used coffee machine in the corner of your kitchen. Odds are that you already buy some type of coffee and creamer. Make use of that and save some serious amount of money. Give Dunkin' and Starbucks some rest. Tip number three. Barter up. First things first. Don't confuse frugality with a cheap lifestyle. When you're frugal, you aren't really depriving yourself of what's important and needed. You're just rethinking your expenditure so you don't go broke before the next paycheck. And a huge part of that lifestyle is to not hoard stuff or spend a lot of money for one-time use only things. Our suggestion is simple. Go a few centuries back. The internet could be a wonderful place. And that wonderful place offers a bunch of apps that allow real-time bartering. Haven't used the handbag that your aunt gifted you three years ago? You can exchange it for a cocktail dress. Don't want to read a super boring, mint condition book on the French Revolution? Barter it for a nice lip gloss. You aren't only saving money but you're also cleansing your closet. Come on, you aren't ever going to make that 1000 piece puzzle even if you keep telling yourself otherwise. Bartering is a great tip because it also solves your hoarding problem. You need some storage places for important stuff, like winter clothes or shoes. Just put all of your unwanted items on your favorite barter app or Facebook group and make some money moves. Tip number 4. Do a social media cleansing. Ready for the most important tip that will go down in history for its usefulness? Don't use Instagram before going to sleep. 
seems like a hard thing to do. Scrolling through Instagram and watching funny cat videos is a great pastime. But the social media place isn't just an artsy space for you to share the greatest moments of your life. It's a marketplace in its own right. All those influencers you follow have an agenda. They want you to buy stuff using their promo code to boost their sponsorships. That's not a bad thing within itself, sure. Plus, some influencers usually have a great outlook on life that can help you here and there. But it's a trap as well. When you see those influencers as part of your Instagram routine, you're constantly taking inspiration. Or even trying to copy them. Tell yourself that you don't need those Halloween-themed cookie cutters. You don't need another pair of beige pants from Zara. Don't buy that instant cake mix because you don't exactly bake. So, look through your following list and try to weed out influencers who are just selling you stuff and subscriptions. If they aren't really influencing the right aspects of your life, lose that following. Plus, you're bound to make impulsive shopping decisions before going to sleep. Avoid that slip up. Tip number 5. Ditch the washing machine dryer. No one likes to do laundry. It's an established fact and no one is really up to challenging it. If you do laundry at home, there's a huge chance you also use the clothes dryer. Nothing wrong with that, of course. But ask yourself, how much electricity is your dryer consuming? Probably a lot for what it is worth. You don't always have to instantly wear your fresh laundry either. So, why not invest in cheaper options that won't skyrocket your electricity bill? You'd find really cheap and good quality indoor drying racks or use clotheslines. That might seem like an extra step on your laundry day. But think about that reduced electricity bill. Especially if you live in Europe. Plus, after you're done with the laundry, you know your clothes are going to get piled up on the chair. You know what we're talking about. Why not just leave your clothes to dry in the meanwhile? Tip number 6. Cut your cable. Take a step back and think about the last three shows you binge-watched. Were any of those on cable? Probably not. In 2023, there's no space for cable TV. You're already paying for subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, Prime, Apple Plus, and whatnot. These streaming services already charge you enough to keep you entertained. And if you aren't really using these services, we're willing to bet that your TV just serves as background noise for your daily chores. Don't worry, it makes sense. TV running in the background is a comforting presence. But did you know that cable could cost you up to $100 per month? That's almost a month of your latte run in the local coffee shop. So, if we were to truly burst your bubble, you're essentially paying for a service that you rarely use. Only because you're supposed to pay for it, right? Times have changed. You log into Netflix to find a perfect show while eating dinner. You usually check the internet for any current news. Plus, news channels have their own applications to live stream the news coverage. Those services are either free or cost a very small fortune. So why not make use of free stuff in a true frugal fashion? And if you're one of those who are obsessed with cable TV, we're gonna hold off your judgment. But then again, cutting back on TV time hasn't hurt anyone, right? Tip number 7. Do saving challenges. Yep, we're back to our TikTok stream of frugal tips. And why not? That app is single-handedly producing some money-saving challenges. Our favorite is the 30-day no-spend challenge. Basically, for a month straight you only spend money on necessities like food, bills, internet service, gas, some hangouts, etc. You just don't do an online shopping spree or add another plushie to your already large collection. And don't even think about that overpriced rainbow frappuccino. This entire plan is unusual. After all, you're supposed to spend your hard-earned money. But this challenge helps you to realize how careless you could be about your own money. If you're working so hard, it doesn't hurt to be a little more responsible about your paycheck, right? Plus, TikTok offers you a community to keep up with the challenge and you'd have some spare cash in your hand in no time. Found these tips useful? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.